Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to do a very quick video to show how to mount the uh, TMC5160 Pro driver and how to uh, configure the jumpers here on the uh, slots where you put the drivers. So the connection for the uh, 5160 uh, are the same as uh, the 2130 or 5161. Uh, basically, is um, uh, the, the communication is a SPI communication and serial peripheral uh, interface. Okay, and uh, to set it up, you need to put jumpers on these uh, pins here. And if you have other drivers, there are uh, different positions where you need to put the, the jumpers. Um, you can refer to the manual. Um, this is the Manta M8P so in the manual uh, for SPI mode for the TMC drivers at uh, the section is 3.2.3 uh, page 13 I think I believe so basically you need to set these jumpers and for the SPI you need to use four jumpers caps um, for each the connections so um, let me move the the manta board closer so here in red you can set the jumpers so one two three and four so in my case I'm going to use, be using the 5160 Pro um, I have also the 21, 2209 so I need to figure out which one uh, has a better fit for example if I want to use uh, um, lower current uh, or um, uh, sensors, uh, uh, sensorless uh, homing uh, I need to figure out even for the 5160 um, if it works okay in that case if I use a different uh, uh, driver I need to even check what voltage I need to set the jumpers up here because you can set 12 or 24 volt so the 5160 supports 24 volt uh, which is much better because then it allows you to support even a higher current uh, which means higher speed uh, higher torque so let me put the, the, the jumpers here let me see if I can fit my hands Okay, drop one. There it is. One. And it's very difficult. I need to buy one of those uh, tools. Okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, I did a miss. It went up to one. So, remove that. Okay. Let me get another one. Okay, this is good. Okay, two. I need four. Uh, okay, this three. And four. So I put one, two, three, and four. So I, I won't repeat for all of them um, because it doesn't make any sense. Um, just know that for SPI, you need to set the jump, the jumpers on the red, uh, on the red um, pins. Okay, uh, and then you mount the driver. So if you if you use a different driver. Check out what is the uh, communication if it's a wart or, and you'll see in the manual it'll explain where to put the jumpers. So uh, let me get the here I have the 51 here 5160 Pro and it's in the little box. Of course there is a there is also uh, the pin layout. 
don't know if you can tell. Okay. Uh, let me put it back in the box. So the 5160 Pro comes in a cool plastic box. Here it is. Has a heat sink already installed. And I noticed there is some uh, thermal paste underneath. If you can tell the white, let me see if I can, yeah, okay, the white uh, thing that you see. Also, what I noticed here, they put yellow pins, but on the board it's red. Usually the previous, the previous uh, drivers had red and black on this side so you can go wrong but I would prefer to have it red so there is uh, consistency in the kind of uh, pins which is a good method so you, you can go wrong with this and then there are the diag uh, pins up here so let me mount let me mount on the on the board here Okay, there is some, um, I think it's a straight, so it should go in, fine, okay, that's it, hmm, Uh, there is just it's a bit difficult to to fit the pins in the right slots okay so that's the mount 5160 pro with fpi connection with the jumpers so i'm going to mount uh, all the other ones so i'm planning to use uh so first driver for x-axis I I will have two two driver for the y-axis which is different configuration for normally that's because my entire carriage of the x axis will be moving uh, on the y-axis so that includes uh, the the L shape uh, x x-axis which is moving left to right plus it will hold the two pallet extruders which are pretty heavy because they are make it made of stainless steel so I need the y-axis to be uh, pretty uh, strong so I will use two motors two NMF 23 on the x-axis so x-axis here two y-axis I have one Z axis because I'm going to be using a method uh, similar to the CNC machines where they have one motor that drives down up and down uh, the the block usually they have a, a spin uh, well, um, uh, drill bit instead I will have two uh, pallet extruders so X 2Y 1Z and the rest are two extruders, basically, these two. Uh, and um, that's it. So, configuration is pretty easy, how to install it. Um, just a bit annoying to put these jumpers. And um, I'm going to do some more videos in the configuration side for my particular 3D printer. Uh, I'm reading more and more about Clipper and I'm getting used to the uh, uh, to the syntax of the configuration which is a bit different from other uh, software so so if you like this video please put a like underneath uh, share the video please subscribe to the channel it will help a lot I'm going to have a more videos about the construction of my big uh, 3d printer and please leave a, a comment if you have any 
uh, underneath I will have a link to to the where I bought the uh, TMC5160 and I'll see you on next uh, video bye bye